Dual Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Turok Dinosaur Hunter. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 10th and we're taking a look at a beloved game of his, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. That's right, and this game came out in, uh, what, 1997 for the N64? Year I graduated. Which really? Which is probably why I don't like it that much. Wow. Uh, so I was older. <laughs> so, uh, 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 it was, uh, <laughs> sorry. sorry, I derailed him. You did. It was, uh, done by Iguana and Acclaim, um, Entertainment, and the plot pretty much is you play as Tall Set and you're in the Lost Land. And basically, the Lost Land is like an um, amalgamated pocket dimension where uh, things just kind of slip. So you have dinosaurs, you have aliens, you have robots, you have, you know, cool weaponry and all sorts of things. And, and Tall Set is a Native American, uh, I think he's a Sequin or Sequin, I don't know what the name of the tribe is, but he's a Sequin uh, Native American. Sequin? I think so, That's yeah. definitely not how it's... It's S-E-Q-U-I-N-N. And, and that was actually, I don't know if it's an actual tribe or if it's just one that was made up for the comic, which it's based off of. Um, and I should say that there's several comics of Turok. There's an old kind of newspaper comic that came out a long time ago. And then there's the one that this one was based off of, which was done by not Acclaim Entertainment, the ones who created it, but Acclaim Comics. So there are two different Acclaims. Uh, so Acclaim Comics put out uh, 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 the comic for this one, which uh, follows Joshua Fireseed, who is the, going to be the new Turok, uh, and he goes into the Lost Land every now and then to help type, uh, save everything. Fireseed, so, he might want to get that checked. It, <laughs> uh, uh, so, so yeah, so I guess that's the premise. Uh, stop the campaigner from creating an army to invade the world, uh, and I guess go ahead and take it away. But I'm probably going to take it right back as soon as you're done. Yeah, I mean, I, it was it was not one that I really got into. Um, it's you know it's it's Doom esque, but with dinosaurs, which is probably awesome for you. But for me, I had moved on. Really? So you moved on from dinosaurs? I've never been into dinosaurs really. Uh. I mean, like they're they're interesting, but I don't know. And then like robots and shit, like what? But dude, I loved I loved take, take it. every. Okay, so this was one of my like top three most anticipated games of all time. Um, if you guys remember Funko Land, it was a terribly overpriced game store, you know, and at the time I didn't know, but I begged my aunt, I need this game, please, for the love of it, God. It was advertised heavily, in fact, it was advertised so much that I was actually excited about it too, but then I played it. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, I loved everything about this game. So, so Funko Land charged me like 90 bucks for this game, or my aunt, I should say. Holy hell. Yeah, it was a lot of money, because it was like, oh, we're going to get it, and we only have a limited supply, because everyone's been asking for it. And me, I was. This was when the internet was still young. I was scouring the internet for all the images, everything that I could find about about this game because I just it was dinosaurs and you were hunting them and it was so cool, you know. And I just I loved everything about this game. Uh, and, and one of the things that I wanted to mention is there's there. I've noticed that there's been a, a kind of decline in the peripheral experience of gaming. You know, like uh, 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 the game manuals for one. You know. I I, re I get games now, and every and most of them are just like these black and white two-page pamphlets, mostly about the system and how to handle it, and nothing to do with the actual game. And when I when I got this game, when I got Turok Dinosaur Hunter for N64, the first thing that I did while we were driving back home is I opened it up and I was sitting there just kind of admiring every page of that booklet because I was I was in love with the whole idea of this game. And then I I, I of course went home and I put it in, I played it. And it was so cool, and it, and the controls were, you had to get used to them for a little bit, but if you've already played GoldenEye, then you probably know the control scheme. It was just kind of, you know, a little tough, but they let you con uh, take a, um, control how stiff your controller is. So, you know, it, it, it worked out just fine, and the game was so awesome, and you were sitting there uh, uh, fighting dinosaurs and fighting hunter-like characters. I mean, they actually had, like, hunter caps. And This isn't the first version of Turok, is it? For the video game system, yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought I remembered on computer PC before that. Well, there, there, it came out. It came out for N sixty four, and it came out for PC. Uh, oh, okay. Iguana was responsible for the N sixty four version. Acclaim was responsible for the Windows version. But mostly, you know, it was it was the N sixty four version because that one was so awesome. In fact, they one of the things that they advertised was that this was this game was going to like uh, use up 
every ounce of ability that the N64 had. And I believe that it did, with few exceptions. I mean, you had a lot of repeated backgrounds, but that was kind of a common thing back then because, you know, it, it only had 64 bits to it. There wasn't much to it. It's funny. I recently watched a trailer, and, and I remember it being like, oh, dude, it's so, you know, realistic and whatever. Yeah. And it's, like, yeah. horrible. No, it's definitely pixelated. Um, you know, but it was so much fun just, just getting all those keys, kind of going to the hub, plugging those keys in and entering a portal that would lead you somewhere else. And then you had, like, these... And I forgot about these until I recently played it again, but you had these kind of uh, portals that were like uh, uh, brought you to kind of like a, a submission or a sub little room where you can get more points and, and get upgrades and maybe the backpack was the first one that you can get. You know, so there was so much more to it and then you was exploring and, and the cool enemies and you had these kind of dinosaurs that weren't really dinosaurs and weren't really humans. You know, there were just so much going on. So cool and I loved every, every bit of it. Uh, plus the weapons. The weapons were always cool. In fact... I think I liked the weapons more in the second one, which was Seed of Evil, um, more than the first one. I think Seed of Evil had the Cerebral Board, which I, I just loved, you know. But this one had the Chrono Scepter, and it had, like, the Plasma Cannon, or you know, not the Plasma Cannon, but the, the one that kind of created this, like, atomic explosion. You know, it was just like, this huge, like, you know, so awesome. So if you like it so much, how come you don't, like, play the new one and stuff? Uh, the new one... I, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, the new one was okay, but I just had so many problems with it. The story was kind of... It didn't, it doesn't have the same storyline, you know, where you're in this pocket dimension. And that, that was one of the things that I really loved about this, you know, being in this pocket dimension where everything kind of just kind of fell in. Anything that was lost in time just kind of fell in there. You know, all your socks that you lost in the dryer, that's where it ended up. Uh, and so the new one was kind of not about that. It was... It just felt different to me. It didn't feel like the good Turok. Plus... You know, you were a a you were still Native American, but you were a space marine instead of uh, you know a regular Native American who goes well, in with. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say I think we've also progressed because like uh, Duke Nukem, right? Duke yeah. Nukem Forever. It's because it was literally made you know twelve years ago, and it, it still has the same humor and the same whatever, and people have progressed past that. Yeah, people yeah. Don't really respond to that. Anymore. I guess. But and but they but they did something different with Turok, so that's why I was kind of asking is like if you if you have so much nostalgic love for it, it's surprising to me that you don't force yourself to like the new game. Well, I mean, I, would you would you say that people should, should should play it? Play the new game? Yeah. Uh, no, no. I mean, it was it was an okay game. It wasn't that great. I I definitely think I think I think you should play Turok Dinosaur Hunter for N sixty four because I think that was a, a, an actual <laughs> achievement, a really solid achievement for gaming. Um, because it was there was so much going on. It was so cool. In I fact, can't stand behind that statement. Just, really? Just saying. No. Dude, they they did so much in that game. That was so awesome. Uh, I just. I think Goldeneye is. Yeah, absolutely. Goldeneye not, definitely had the multiplayer. It was so wonderful. But but Turok just to me was. I mean, everything that they did was awesome. You know, you had you had wildlife running around. You know, monkeys and boars and deer. You know that you can shoot for for uh, for uh, uh, health. Um, so that was an interesting thing. <laughs> what? I just shoot for health. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, to me, to me, I think it's definitely a, a. It was definitely very nostalgic for me. It was. I'm very biased because of it because I was always a huge fan of dinosaurs. I was always always a huge fan of of uh, Native American lore. You know that kind of bit. Um, plus, you know, gaming was huge then. I was N64 was the first console where I felt like I owned the console. You know, like we had an N64, but I mean not N64, a regular NES. We had a Genesis. But that was kind of everyone's Genesis, you know, like, or any, everyone's NES. So you're talking about in your family. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the N64, when I got Turok the uh, Dinosaur Hunter, that was my game, and it was, you know, I was going to play it. You know, it wasn't a family thing. It was mine, and I just owned it. You know, it was so wonderful. It was everything about that game was so damn cool. In fact, I still love playing it in spite of the fact that the graphics are crap now. You know, but, and then, and then at the very end, when you, when you play the game and you're done with the game, one of the other things that I've noticed about games these days is that there's no cheat codes. This one had tons of cheat codes. I mean, everyone remembers that, that, that you know, the big code, how, how do you remember the big code? On the eighth day, uh, God created Turok, right? And then you just put in the consonants, except for, of course, eighth was spelled wrong. I don't know if that was on purpose or by accident, but there's only one GH, uh, I forget how it's done, but there's, there, it's missing a letter, essentially. Which is unfortunate, but but then that unlocked like big big head mode and locked all the uh, level skips and uh, uh, boss enemies, and then you had a uh, disco mode. Um, then there was the fly mode, which wasn't you know, covered in the big mode. But that one, the fly mode was kind of lame though because you couldn't actually fly. You just kind of 
uh, positioned your sprite so it wasn't really flying because yet if you didn't want to interact with anything, you had to turn it off so you can fall back down to earth. So I don't know. There was just so much going on, and it was like a perfect, well-rounded game in my opinion because you know you started off with the wonderful game manual that had all the cool backstories and the cool enemies plus many more this is just the beginning you know these are just the introductory enemies that you have to deal with um then you had the cool weapons then you had the cool codes at the very end it was just so much to love about this game and i don't think anyone should have really missed it i think it was a beautiful game and it's there was like six spin-offs you know it was just it was perfect in my opinion so all right well there you have it so yeah, high praise indeed. Rant. So if you want to trip back memory lane and uh, see what Nick is passionate about, yeah. check out Turok. Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Seeds of Evil was good. I, I kind of lost interest after that. I think the third one, um, which was named Oblivion something or other, that one kind of lost it. And then they had the full multiplayer Rage Wars, um, which was... No, I, I didn't really play the game for multiplayer. So, you know, I mean, I guess you could be a Velociraptor and just kind of slash at things, but... Uh, it was whatever you know and then there was others um but the the first one was it for me i love that first one you know the first time i saw triceratops it's like oh my god so all right guys uh thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow our great playlists game lab's been a lot of fun yes it has and perhaps please... we'll do some t-rock oh yeah that'd be awesome uh and i totally derailed me the second time this week uh so what am i saying so help and please help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. And we're both blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing updates of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you later. Oh, oh, dude. I did not think I got that. You're a bastard. It's over, bro. Coming up, it's Storm the Castle. Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Yay, one I don't have to talk. I mean, I played it. I just didn't play a lot of it. <clears throat> I think it's late. <clears throat> On today's dual review, it's no, yeah. Yeah. On today's dual review, it's. Tur t t t t Are you gonna give the other game an honorable mention? Which ones? All of them. Yeah. I probably might. I probably might. Well, I'm glad that's settled. I don't have to worry about it. Eh, trying to knock yours off. I need all six now, Nick. <laughs> I guess I'll get them. Yes, you will. Two. Thank you. Three. Faster. <laughs> Mine, that was four. Five. And I saw one bounce down here. I thought. Hooray. Thanks. And now you shot one. I only dropped one. I don't know. I didn't mean like that. Yes, you did. Yeah, we didn't. It's appropriate you got that one. 